I pursued psychiatry as a career because I've always been interested in behavior. Even when I was a young child, I remember wondering what makes us happy, sad, what is the human condition all about. We're very interested in how the brain changes from an infant to a child, an adolescent, adult, even old age, so across the entire lifespan. But we've been particularly focused on the teen brain because that's when most mental illnesses emerge. And so we've been wondering how the changes that have happened in typical health development relate to the emergence of all of these illnesses. Five or ten years ago, we were focused almost exclusively on what was going wrong with the teen brain. But now we have a much stronger appreciation for what's going right with teen brain development. Its key feature is it's incredibly plastic, or able to adapt to different environments. And there's an incredible amount of optimism. If we can harness this plasticity, this adaptability, it's almost unlimited in terms of the improvements that we can make in the lives of both healthy and ill teens. Winning the Rorain Child Psychiatry Award has been a wonderful experience for me for many reasons. One of them is drawing attention to the importance of the adolescent years as a time for both intervening for illnesses and a time to optimize healthy development. I hope to be able to give back at least a fraction of what I've gotten from the people at the Brain and Behavior Foundation. It's an incredibly powerful time and, and there's so much optimism if we could just learn to harness this ability to adapt a little bit better, uh, we could have a huge impact on the world. <laughs>